Hello again, everyone. This is our second video for our second class session, and this time we're going to talk about how you can connect to this really important system called MyLab IT. Um, well, we'll just go into our slideshow here. Now, just to be clear here, we're actually talking about three different websites in this course. First is the CSA105.com site that I mentioned before. It's a very simple site. I set it up myself, and it's great because you can easily access it without any IDs or anything. You can just go there and get information, so that works really nice. Second thing is Blackboard, which is part of my ComNet, and that has a lot of features and, and uh, things. We'll be using that quite a lot. So uh, it's a little harder to get into because you have to put in your, your username and password, but it's, it's a very powerful system. And the third thing here is even more powerful, the MyLab IT site. And we haven't talked about it yet, but it's very important. And just to, just to clarify that, okay, the first one there is very simple because links and the urgent news, okay, uh, Blackboard is more uh, involved, has more features, the discussions and the announcements works really nice. And the last one here has even more features, okay? The quizzes, projects, uh, final exam, and grades. Okay? All this stuff can be available at MyLab IT. Okay, so why do we use it? Basically, uh, there's a couple of things. One feature is the online version of the textbook. Okay, this is great. You don't have to carry it around. As long as you have access to the internet, you can see your textbook. It's really nice. And it, it has these multiple choice quizzes, which uh, which sounds pretty uh, intimidating. But no, it's, they're pretty easy. Okay, they're pretty simple. And if you, if you study, you have no problem with those. There are simulations of, of the programs like Windows, Word, and Excel, which are real nice. You can see uh, how programs working and you can practice with them and get to get to work on the programs in the in a better and more expert way uh, projects also has some nice projects you can work on and and if you want to check your grades it's very simple to do on the the my lab it program okay real works really nicely okay to set up an account uh, you need three things basically your email address now this could either be your school email address or your own personal one doesn't matter you need the course ID. Okay, that's the thing I showed you before. We'll, we'll show you to you again. And then you need an access code. Okay, and there are four ways you can get an access code. Okay, four ways from the uh, paper textbook that you bought or from the bookstore. You could buy an access code there. Or you can, I'll show you how to do it right now and uh, just use a credit card or a debit card to get it. And then if you don't have any money right now, you could get a temporary access and I'll show you how to do that in just a second here. Okay, now if we go to the syllabus, okay, another way to find out what your ID, your course ID is from my lab IT is to just go to the syllabus and right on the syllabus there is the link right there. Okay, well, it's not a link, it's just the code there. So just copy it, okay? Just double click it to select it, then copy it, and you can paste it into the uh, place I'll show you in just a little bit. Okay, how do you access it? Well, basically, you go to uh, either two links. You could type in pearsonmylab.com, or I, I created a little shortcut, which is bit.ly slash nccit, okay? So just type that in. And the uh, use Chrome, okay, just let's standardize on using Chrome as your browser. And in the address bar at the top, just put either one of those addresses, okay, just uh, put that. And then you get to this, okay, this is the home page for Pearson MyLab. And you now that you're, uh, once, once you register and everything, everything's all set, you can click in the button there, the big button that says sign in. Okay, but if you haven't registered already, then you click on the button for student. Okay, you're going to register as a student. Okay, so just click on that button. That brings you here. And again, this is just to review that you have three things that you need, your email address, your course ID, and an access code, a credit card, or something like that. Okay, and then just click the button at the bottom, go on to the next screen. And this is where you enter the access code. Okay, so you copied it before. You did Control C or right-click copy. And here you just paste it in here. Just click in the box and do either a right-click with your mouse button and paste or just do a Control V, as in Victor, Control V to paste it in there. Okay, so you paste it in there and then you come to this screen here and it says, okay, well, first thing you want to do is check, make sure you're in the right course, okay? Make sure you specify the right course, okay? Uh, doesn't mention my name there, but just, uh, just make sure it looks pretty good, okay? 3423, CRN 3423, which looks pretty good. And, and then, okay, then you can, if you already have a Pearson account, maybe you use another Pearson program like my or Math Lab or something like that, then you can, and if you remember the password, you can set that up here. All right. If you don't, 
Okay, if you don't have an account, you can create a new account. Okay, now if, if you forget the password, you just click the button there. It says forget the password on your old account. But uh, some most people, what they do is just create a new account. Okay, so so just click the create button and create a new account. Now once you do that, create an account. It's going to ask you a bunch of questions here, things like your email address and uh, username. Now one thing to do is uh, when you put in your email address, the program will automatically use that as your username. But for most folks, that's going to be pretty long, and you're going to be typing this in, you know, quite a few times. So I would shorten it down. Now you have to make sure that it is unique, okay? That no one else is using that, okay? It won't let you use a name that's already been used. So um, put a, put some numbers or something in there to make it unique. But but make it short because you are going to be typing it in a lot, right? And then set up a password, okay? And there's the rules about doing passwords. When you start typing it in, it'll show you what the rules are. But um, make a good password there. Now you don't need 14 characters. There's no money involved here, but um, but do a, a good secure password that you that will be easy to remember. And of course, please please write down your username and your password, uh, so you so you can you can you won't forget it. So you can recover it, but it's it's you're gonna waste a lot of time doing that. So so write it down so you don't forget it. And then put in the rest of the information there. The, the uh, at the bottom there, you want to um, don't check the box that says um, you are. Uh, enrolled in the middle or, middle or high school because you're not <laughs> you're at a college okay if you're under 18 then of course then you do check the box but I think most of you are over 18 and of course I if um, I think most of you reside in the United States so that that middle box does not need to be checked for most of you and then the last thing here I would check the last box I do not wish to receive information from other peers and stuff unless you Unless you don't get a lot of email, <laughs> then you might want to click it, but I suggest not doing that. Okay, then at the bottom, just click the button for a create account. Okay, then, then we have to pay for this. All right, now if you've bought the textbook or if you've bought the access code at the bookstore, then just hit the access code button there, okay? And just put in the access code. The access code is a big, long, complicated thing. It's about 25 random characters. And just put it in there and type it correctly and everything will be fine, okay? Now, if you don't have, if you didn't buy the textbook or you didn't buy the, the um, access code at the bookstore, you can buy it right now. And look, it only costs $99 as opposed to $120 at the bookstore. Okay, so if you have a credit card, you can click that button, put in the credit card, and then you'll be all set that way. Okay, all right, good. Now, if you don't have a credit card, okay, if you don't have the money right now, okay, well, there's still a way to do it. You can get a temporary access, temporary access. Okay, now it's not the best thing here. If if you Hank, if you can at all, get a credit card or a debit card, and pay for it right now. But if you can't, uh, use this temporary thing. Just click on the link there, get temporary access. Okay, you have 14 days to to pay up. Okay, and please do it before 14 days is up, because otherwise it's going to, the system's going to throw you out, and you won't be able to take part in any of our uh, activities. So please do that as soon as you can. Get pay for it as soon as you can. All right, and that should work pretty good. Now the problem is, okay, then you get this screen here. It says, okay, you sure? Yeah, you're sure. Okay, good. But the problem is, it it takes one or two days to. Um, to, to uh, open up the account. If you click on the temporary access, it takes one or two days. Now, why does it take one or two days? I have no idea. This is a computer. It should take one or two seconds, uh, but they're, they're slowing it down maybe because they want you to, to pay up as soon as possible. But whatever, uh, you want to, um, you know, if, if you can't pay up, then, then just wait a day or two until you do it. Now, please do it as soon as possible because we're going to be using this program. We're going to be using My Lab IT in our next session. Okay, that's on Thursday. So please do it as soon as you can so you don't miss out because it's, uh, it's a lot more fun when you're able to keep up with all the other students. All right, so you put it in there. And then, of course, then it says your registration is being processed. And it says you it will send you an email when your, when your account is set up. So... Uh, I don't know, day, two days, whatever. Uh, do it as soon as you can so you can get it. You can get up and running as fast as possible, okay? Okay, good. So once you get up and running, you're going to be all set. And then we'll in the next session, next class, we'll talk about what, how you can use My Lab IT. And you'll see it's pretty pretty powerful and pretty um, pretty good system to do, to use. Okay, we'll be using My Lab IT in our next session. So be sure to get the account set up as soon as you can. It, and if you did a temporary account, be sure to pay for it soon so you don't lose anything. So, you know, when that 14-day temporary account uh, ends, you're, you're going to be cut off and you're going to miss a lot of stuff. 
So be sure to uh, to pay for it as soon as you can. I know it's expensive, but it's important, and uh, there's just no way around it. All right, so our next video, a really good and useful one, is how you can protect yourself. Last time we talked about how you protect your computers, your computer accounts. This is much more important, so be sure to take a look at it.